Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Timo Parker. I'm a vocal coach and I'm here to help you to improve your singing voice. In today's video, I want to talk about the best age for singing and also is there something like too old or too young. So let's dive right into it. So if you've seen some videos on this channel, if not, you can head over to this playlist that I'm going to link here. You know that my approach to singing is based on muscles. So we are using isolated muscle movements to execute certain movements in our throat and achieve sound through that. And that also means since we are relying on muscles that the age doesn't really matter that much when it comes to singing. So what I mean by that is that muscles can be trained at any age. And throughout the years of teaching and also seeing other students from colleagues of mine, I realized that age doesn't really matter when it comes to building muscle in your throat. Because I met people that were 60, 70 and they started singing in that age and they were still building muscle and they were making magnificent progress. So I don't really think that being too old is an excuse to start singing. If you really want to, there's absolutely no age limit. And there are also a lot of people out there that still sing beautifully in a high age. So if you train your muscles right and if you are willing to go through the process of working on your voice, there's no such thing as being too old. So that's the good news. So you can never start too late and you can always develop your instrument in here. And there actually can be an advantage when you start singing a little later in your life. And that is because singing also requires you to have a certain um, maturity, emotional maturity and learning to sing and getting better with your voice and understanding your instrument and be compassionate are all qualities that also have something to do with uh, personal growth. So I don't want to say that young people don't have these qualities because there are definitely young people out there that start working on themselves, on their personal development, on their personal growth at a very young age. But in general, it is a little more likely to, to be maybe a bit more advanced in these um, things when you are a little older. So this can come in handy. And that's why I think that if you have already some years of experience and you know yourself already a little better, this can actually help you on this journey. But on the other hand, if you have some behaviors and patterns that don't really help you to grow as a singer and you've done this already for a long period of time, for decades, then it can be challenging. So let's assume that you didn't have any um, experience on how to sing and you don't have any past history of things that you might have done wrong, then learning at a higher age is actually not a problem. It can get a little more problematic if you already have established a system, a way how you sing, but this way of singing is maybe not really supportive for your voice. And I talk about these things, those are things like air pressure and falsetto and in general compression in your throat and if you have done that for for decades or for a long period of time it will take longer to re-establish balance in your system and to train your singing voice so there's no such thing as too old but when it comes to learning how to sing it is actually sometimes easier to not have past history where you have had destructive patterns or patterns that didn't really help you with your voice and then it is actually not too difficult to learn how to sing. So let's go to the opposite. Can you be too young to start singing? And the answer is yes and no. So I think if you're starting to sing in a healthy environment where you're focused on having fun, it is great. There's no age limit to start singing. But when it comes to, let's say, a more of a competitive environment and where you are forced to achieve so certain results, it can actually be a difficult situation for a young kid because when you are growing obviously also your throat is growing and your thyroid cartilage is growing and during the growing period it can actually happen that your thyroid cartilage maybe doesn't grow symmetrically and one side grows a bit quicker than the other and then you have a instrument that is not balanced and the problem that could happen is and we all have maybe experienced that to a certain degree when we get into puberty the voice changes because the instrument is growing and things are starting to change. And the problem here could be that if you're singing for example in a choir that is uh, let's say a bit more sophisticated that 
has to achieve certain results and you were used to singing these high notes effortlessly as a kid because you have a different instrument and then you're changing and you're forcing yourself and your instrument to still produce these sounds even though your instrument is not in a symmetric and balanced um, form anymore. And this is where problems can arise, where through compensation, through things like air pressure and maybe um, different mechanisms that you, that you use, that you can actually deform your thyroid cartilage because what you're trying to do in this case or what people are unconsciously trying to do in this case is that you try to compress the thyroid cartilage to make it very small to simulate still the sound of, of a child. So, and if you do that during the growing period, that's obviously not a good thing to do. And that's why I think it is incredibly important for kids that are still growing, especially if you hit puberty, that you are very gentle to the instrument and that you are not forcing certain results. That's incredibly important at this age. So I would say leisure singing, singing for fun, there's no, there's no limit. You can start as young as you want and you can sing along. But also proper vocal coaching and building an instrument has to be approached with care at that young age. For most teenagers, let's say, a good age to start singing is around 16, 17. And that's just an approximate. So it can still happen that you maybe, st because we are still growing till we are 21. So it could still happen that you have um, certain imbalances due to growth and then it's a good idea to start a bit later. So whenever you, for example, don't have really control yet over your voice, you should wait till puberty has passed and you established a um, adult voice now, and then you can start working with this. And that's for, as I said, for most people, that's around 16, 17. For women, typically a little earlier than for men. So if you are a parent and you want to um, enroll your kid, for example, for choirs or for singing lessons, that's great, but I think the primary focus at that age should be fun and maybe learning more about music. And I also think instead of starting to develop the voice so early, it is actually an amazing idea to introduce them already to maybe playing an instrument like piano is such a helpful tool and you will need it a lot of times. If you want to accompany yourself on the piano when you are singing, and also maybe to figure out melodies. So that's an incredible help and I would rather maybe get a little more serious with this instead of focusing too much on results and growth already at such a young age. And here it differs a lot to, for example, methods where you sing with a lot of air pressure and force and compression and falsetto, all these things, because over time, because you're not using your muscles anymore, they deteriorate and the decrease of abilities that you can do with your voice and with this approach you might start a bit slower but you're continuously growing because you are continuously working on your muscles. So that's a very important thing and I think that's such a great way to learn singing and also to know that you can make progress until a very high age and things can change and you get stronger and all of a sudden uh, your voice starts to sound different. And this is at the end also the goal of vocal training. We want to eliminate limitations so you can be free when you make music. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave also a comment below. And if you're interested in working with me, I have a website where you can book one-on-one -on -one classes with me. So make sure to head over and check it out. And I thank you so much for watching and I see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.